Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at a toty wee mod. You should know what toty means now. Small. Uh, this here is the 4.9. Is and I'm going to say this wrong. Is it Tarsus? Tarsus? Tarsus. I'm going to call them Tarsus, Tarsus Customs, um, and this was sent to me direct, but via Schmo Vapes. Uh, Schmo Vapes are actually going to be stocking these, uh, hopefully getting them in very soon, and they should be coming in about the £90 mark. Now, the one I have here was from the very first batch. Now the problem with the first batch was that there was no insulator in the top cap. Uh, I've made my own insulator uh, so that I could just do the review. The ones that Schmovapes are getting will be insulated in the top cap. So don't worry about that, they will be insulated and uh, probably they'll probably follow my design and uh, you know, <laughs> no they won't. Um, just to give you an idea uh, I guess you can, the 4.9, uh, the 49 uh, refers to the size in 18.350 mode. Uh, that is it with an Origin ripper on it just now. Uh, that is 49 millimetres. It's tiny, uh, absolutely tiny. Run that juice here, I think. Um, just, 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 just. There we go. Get some more in here. Now, what can we tell you about this? It will come with two tubes, uh, well, two extensions, so you can run it in 18350, 18500, or 490, and 18650 as well. 304 grade, uh, it's got a brass top cap, brass button. Uh, it's a magnetic switch that's in it, uh, and I'll show you that. Um, I was going to tell you the bottom's engraved and it will be serialised. Means there's not a serial number on it, they put my name on it. Thank you. Bam pots. That's, uh, I've just changed over, that's a, a K Fun. That's their uh, Schmo Vapes are doing this as well. This is the Quartz Tank, uh, Taurus, uh, Taurus whatever they're called, are, they also do a quartz tank, uh, this is a standard size, they also do a nano, uh, means uh, your K-Fun holds about 2mm and it's tiny, uh, but you'll see them on the website as well, uh, but uh, this review is for this, so I'll have one last little cheeky vape and then we'll get there and we'll show you this in detail. And it's that small that I'm closing off the air hole when I'm vaping. You know how good it is to have Druid? That's Mrs. Lord's Druid. Normally I can't put this in a K-Fun because uh, you know it'll just kill the tanks. But having a quartz tank is just brilliant. It really is. So well chuffed with that. Uh, right, let's go down and have a close-up. Now this comes boxed. Or our mine came in a, a little box like this. Just a black box. And this was everything that was in it. Uh, now Tubes, 18350, 18500 and 18650, so that's 18500, 18650 extensions there. Uh, your 18350 tube, your top cap, brass, your button, which is brass with a magnet in it, and you have this magnetic spacer that goes in the bottom of your battery. So it's 303 stainless steel. You've got these cutouts for you know putting your finger in when you want to fire the button, and they're quite solid tubes. In fact, yeah, they're two mil thick, two mil uh, thick. The, the tubes, uh, there's quite a little weight to them. You know, they're they're dinky, uh, quite small, but uh, there's quite a heft. Uh, now. 
starting with the top cap uh, now this will vent through the button I can blow through the tube and air will travel down through the button now you can see there there's a white Delrin piece now I made that myself um, this means that uh, you know it, there's going to be no shorts from the nipple onto the, the top cap uh, I would imagine the final product that you know Schmo vapes are going to sell will be something similar to this um, basically it just means that when you take your battery and it, you know it touches the top it's not making contact with the, the brass top cap at all so got to point out my version I had to make my own Delrin insulator I knew that uh, but the version that is going to be sold by Schmo Vapes will be insulated so what we have to do first is the button now here we go He's a cute little so-and-so, isn't he? You see it's got the 4.9, it's got the logo You've got venting in the middle there And they've put my name on it as well So what happens is You get the magnetic spacer Sticks to the bottom of your battery This will sit at the bottom of the tube That should be the other way around, my mistake, like so, <laughs> that'll be at the bottom of the tube and uh, they'll repel one another. And that's how the switch works, so when you push the switch, it pushes the battery. So, we'll just drop this in here. Now I've actually found it easier to just turn this upside down like so and locate it and just push it in a little bit, then turn it round and make sure that it's sitting there in the bottom when I drop it in from the top it tends to go crooked and gives me grief so here's my AWIMR 18T50 battery I've got my spacer in there you go, you can see the batteries bouncing up and down screw this on And you see this isn't going on tight just now because the button, there we go, there's the buttons free now. Don't do this up too tight, there are two holes in the top so you can get a pair of needle nose pliers and unscrew if you have to. So there's the button action there. It does kind of float about, it's... I'll be honest, it doesn't feel like the best button in the world uh, you really do want to, you kind of like learn to, to get your finger to go across here and push it in like that or you've got to push it straight in the middle but you can kind of like feel it moving about in there uh, it's not my, it's not that it doesn't work it's just not the, the, the nicest button I've ever come across I'll put it like that and that's that, so you can see that the the, the nipple of the battery sits there now there's no connection at this moment in time so if I screw on my Origin Dripper now it's going to make contact with the nipple of the battery there and nothing's going to happen until I push the button and complete the connection and that's it you do have to give it quite a firm, that, that's got quite a lot of resistance in it because of the, it's quite heavy duty magnets in there uh, so you have to give it a good firm push now I'm using the larger of the, the two extension tubes here popping that on screw this on battery, you know, see the switch isn't looking okay. yep. There we go, it's in right. There we go, in 18500 mode. That's an 18500, that is so small, it really is. 18650 battery in. Put the other extension on. 
I may have to get a little magnetic spacer here. Pop that on. Don't really like doing that, but uh, I don't have much option with this just now. My AWIMR nipple tops are in the house. That's an eight, that, that is a, an 18650 mod. Uh, one thing I will say is sometimes getting that an atty off can be a bit of a pain in the backside. Just make sure you don't over tighten stuff and you'll be fine. Just to give you an idea, what's that? That's just about eight inches. Sorry, the eight inches. That's 79, no, uh, yeah, 79 millimetres in 18650, so 18650, that, this is just incredible, it really is. Um, very impressed with this, very impressed. Mm, yummy. Really enjoying vaping with this. I'm really enjoying vaping in 18650 mode, it's, it's, smallest 18650 mod I've ever had my hands on and it just feels nothing like an 18650 mod because it's so small right I'm going to go and find my kick 2 that's it with a kick 2 in it see the gap still fires but it's just a huge gap there uh, which is a shame so, to sum this wee guy up, thanks for putting the button in. Do it from the bottom. You, you know, hold the tube upside down and put the button in like that. It just goes in easier than dropping it from the top. Um, you have your magnetic spacer on the bottom here of your battery. Just drop that in. And then screw the top cap on. And that's you. I have my reservations. I find that when I'm using, say, a slightly longer battery, I prefer the throw in the button. Uh, the short, the longer the battery, the shorter the throw. The shorter the throw, the better it actually feels. Um, so I'm actually preferring using EFEST V2s in it. Um, I have been cheating slightly and using a magnetic spacer on top um, once again that's not necessarily one of these things that I would recommend to people um, what you could do is put the magnetic spacer in like that so you're extending it a little bit pop this back in so much better. I've got like it's almost like a, it's just almost like touch sensitive now. Just m making that battery almost just a little bit longer. Um, you know, there's no locking ring in this. It's not going to fire when you stand up anyway, because uh, the button's you know recessed. Uh, I like the logo. Uh, I like the engraving. I love the quality of the tube. I mean, that's thick stainless steel going on there. Uh, just be careful, you don't over tighten your atties on top there because that brass top cap, you know, can get stuck. Um, so you will need a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, no, no, stay there. Um, sorry, TJ's wanting in in the action. So overall, yeah. 18350, 18500, 18650, the smallest 18650 and 500 I've come across just now, it's not the smallest 18350, that goes to the red rod, so wrong, uh, but you know, it's, aside from that, it's one of the small, it is one of the smallest I've come across, so the fact that you know, you get the other battery sizes as well is just an added bonus, uh, that really is. Uh, as far as I can see, using my 20x1 adapter that I have here that I know works in other 20x1 devices, 
like I said, it starts off, it almost gets to the end, but then it kind of stops in the last couple of threads. So I'm going to have to say that it's not 20 by 1. It's lovely. Uh, it really is a, a lovely little device. And just to confirm something here. Yep, there's airflow going through the button. So that's it from me, guys. Um, if you want to get an incredibly small device, then yeah, I, I, I would recommend it. It's uh, you know, it's in, the threads are good on it. I, I've no real issue. I mean, don't know if you can see that. Just to give you an idea of the finishing in that. You see the join? That's two tubes joined together there. You, can, this, you know, it's machined really well. Even, I mean, that's all the tubes joined together. You can barely see a gap, you know, a join there. Right, stop. Let's get this over with. Yes, I like it. Yes, I would, uh, I'd recommend it. Yeah, I think you'll have great fun with this. Uh, the button is the weak spot. Get a longer battery, you know, the longer battery, the shorter the throw, and it transforms the button. Uh, for those of you out there that know what you're doing, you know, you get the little magnetic spacers and you can space, you know, you can space it out and uh, it makes a hell of a difference. Uh, that's it from me. Thank you to Torsus. Versus customs mods. I'm sorry if I've got it wrong, guys. Uh, and thank you to the guys at Schmo Vapes for sending this on. Just a reminder that uh, this will be around the £90 mark. Uh, we'll be coming very soon to Schmo Vapes. And also the same applies for the Quartz K Fun tanks. Um, they'll be coming to Schmo Vapes as well. And uh, that's it from me. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers now. Bye.